you may be curious how this is gonna work when Google Domains, all of that migrates to Squarespace. You may never have used Squarespace. You may have your website on a whole different platform like WordPress or something else, and you're curious, how is it gonna work that my domain is gonna go to Squarespace, but my site is somewhere else, all of that. In this video, we're gonna cover some of these high level details to get you equipped and set up with this move with Squarespace domains and what you need to consider in this process. Alongside that, I do have some other resources and things that will point you in the right direction if you're trying to figure out how to set up your domain correctly. So let's get into the video. We're gonna cover all the things you need to know if you are trying to understand what to do with Squarespace domains now that you're on there, even though you started with Google domains. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, you can have a domain that is on Squarespace, but you could have your site on any other platform. That is completely okay. There's no issue there. Basically, your registrar is gonna be Squarespace. That's a fancy word. Your registrar will be Squarespace, but your DNS records will be pointing to a specific website, wherever you have that app. In the migration, as far as I understand, all those records are gonna move with you to Squarespace. So everything you have set up now should work properly in the move. Once you're in Squarespace, you'll be able to do everything you're used to. Things like being able to forward the domain, things like being able to add or remove DNS records, even setting up your Google workspace, which I know is like confusing that you're leaving Google, but you're still using Google for your emails. All of that can get a little confusing, but basically what's happening is the main thing that's happening is your registrar is going from Google domains, which no longer exists, unfortunately, but that's done and it's all moving to Squarespace domains. And Squarespace domains gives you full flexibility and ability to manage all your domains inside the platform and gives you a lot of control on how you could link it to your website, um, to your email or whatever else you need to do. Some of you may not like this and you may want to stay away from Squarespace completely, which I totally understand. And what you can do is say you want to move your domain to like GoDaddy or Bluehost or I don't know, any other hosting service, you can do that. You'll just need to go through the process of wherever your domain is currently, which I think they're all in Squarespace now. You'll need to just go in there and get basically this like confirmation code where you could then release ownership from that registrar, Squarespace, to whichever registrar you wanna take it to. Basically just go to your registrar that you like, say it's GoDaddy, go to Google, type in something like how to move a domain to GoDaddy. That should get you set up and you'll be able to go from there. Now, you may also be saying, I have no idea what you just said for this like last three minutes, but I need help with my domain. What that might be is that we have this domain starter kit where we walk you through how to understand how to use your domain, set up DNS records and all of that stuff. Honestly, domains are some of the most confusing things about the website world. And one of the things that honestly is more complicated than code. It's just something that should be sped up and should be faster, but it's a very slow process with servers, your site being on multiple servers, things like that. Right now, what I would recommend, if you're trying to figure out those things, definitely check out our domain starter kit because that'll help you understand how to think about DNS records and then be able to leverage DNS records to point it to the website or your email or whatever you need to point it to in the best way possible. Now, with Squarespace, you could have as many domains as you want set up. What's really cool is the monthly price. It's a little bit more expensive than some other registrars, but it includes everything you need, especially the privacy. I know GoDaddy charges an extra seven or $8 a month to add in the privacy, which basically equals the same price as Squarespace. So you get it built in, you get all the best features. And if anything, Squarespace has really vamped up their experience with domains. I think there are some hiccups and user experiences that can be better, but they are stepping it up with how you leverage domains in their platform. So if you're just doing this move process now and there's some features you're looking for but that you don't see yet, they may come in the next few months on Squarespace's website. They say this specifically, as we welcome new customers from Google domains, we are making significant upgrades, it's vague language, but significant upgrades to Squarespace domains over the next few months. Expect new functionality, new interface updates and more, which I don't really know what that's gonna be, 
but there are probably gonna be some major things that they upgrade and add to the platform to make the user experience wonderful. There are some cool things they already have with it. If you do set up Google Workspace, it's just one click to set up the MX records. It is a pretty cool process. It's been simplified, but at the end of the day, you have full freedom to do as you like with your domain. So if you wanna keep in Squarespace, you could have Squarespace as your registrar, point the actual domain to WordPress, point it to Webflow, point it to Framer, any tool you want. The actual domain itself now lives in Squarespace. And yes, the one thing they say after that cool update of expect new functionality is there is no need to have a website or buy any other services with Squarespace to use Squarespace domains. And that's probably the most confusing point that people are running into is like, I don't even wanna use Squarespace and they're like a website company. Why are they taking my domain? Well, it's a business play, but it's also very much so you have full freedom to do as you like, and you don't have to worry about using them as your website platform, especially if you are very much an expert and you're like, I don't even wanna touch it. You don't have to. I think Squarespace is great. I think it's user experience is amazing, but if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to. No pressure here. So with Squarespace, let me tell you a little bit about the user experience there. Again, you could forward domains, you could have as many domains as you want inside your Squarespace account. You could also set up your email, your MX records. You can manage the domain and the specifications of it, update, remove, change DNS records. There's a lot of freedom there. And you could even set up email forwarding through your domain account. Now, I know there are a lot of different use cases and issues that you may be running into. So if you have any issues or challenges you want help with, definitely check out my other content on Squarespace domains. That may be helpful to get you up and running. Definitely check out the domain starter kit. It's only a few bucks and it'll give you a ton of resources and quality content to really help you figure out what you need to do. And then finally, use the comments below. If you have any questions, drop in the comments below. We have a thriving community here who can get back to you, whether it's me and my team or anyone in the community who can get back to you on what to expect, what to do, all of that. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.